Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I perform a gel X service from start to finish. If you are interested, then keep on watching. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a cuticle pusher and I'm going to push back the cuticles. I had already taken off a previous set so the nails are already semi prepped so I'm just going to further prep them for the new set. Next I'm just going to grab a fine sanding band and I'm going to take off all of that natural shine that is on that natural nail bed just making sure that there are no oils or anything left on there product does not usually stick to any oil. If you do keep some oil on the nails, that's when you will experience more lifting, which is something that we obviously want to avoid when doing extensions. I'm done removing all of the shine and the oils I do go ahead and spray some alcohol onto a manicure brush and that's how I dehydrate my nails after dehydrating my nails I go in with the appraise primer and I do two coats of that on all of the nails no matter what primer I am using I usually like to go in with two coats just to make sure that I have everything coated nicely So for this set, I am using the Appraise Gel X in Short Sculpted and we are going to go ahead and size them, making sure each nail fits sidewall to sidewall. If your client or yourself are in between two sizes, as in one is too big and the other is too small, always go for the big one and kind of customize it towards your nail. I wouldn't recommend going with the smaller size just because once you put them on with the gel underneath, they do kind of raise up a bit and if that happens, it is easier for it to pop off so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go in with the extend gel and I'm gonna apply a layer of that on to the natural nails if you or your client have more flatter nail beds and you're using a sculpted nail tip and there is a big gap that you do need to fill out a quick recommendation or a quick tip I have is to apply some of that extend gel onto your nails like you normally would but then just flip your hand over for about 10 to 15 seconds before you cure and this way it will form a natural apex and when you apply that sculpted tip on top you won't have as big of a gap to fill in. Alright, so just to prep the nails, I do go in with Gel X Prep and I chemically etch the back of the nails. And for this, you don't want to just glide it on like you would for a polish. You do want to scrub it in and make sure that it gets gooey and matte, and that's how you know that it is properly prepped. Uh, you can go ahead and file the insides as well with a sanding band and that works just as great as this does. I just find this to be a lot quicker and a lot more cleaner just so I don't get dust all over. Alright, so after all of that we are now ready to apply the tips. So I just start from the cuticle and as soon as that gel gets right to the free edge I do cure it with my gooseneck lamp. This lamp is from Amazon. I will leave the link down below and it does come with a little remote to turn it on and off and I just pass that over to my client and I will keep telling them when to turn it on and when to turn it off and this process has really worked for me and I feel like it's just made my application for Gel X that much cleaner because I'm not going to be struggling moving the light and keeping that pressure on the nail.
next I'm just going in with a small skinny cuticle bit just to make sure that I blend the nail tip down just so when they grow out they won't have a ledge and they won't get caught in stuff especially hair because that can be super annoying so this just makes sure that once they grow out they are smooth just like how acrylic would grow out once you flush the cuticles After going around the cuticles, I do just like to go in with a nail file and just line up the side walls, making sure that they look as natural as possible. Also, these nail tips do have this little nub at the end, so I also do want to go ahead and smooth that out. And if there is a little alterations that I need to do with the shape, so if someone wants it to be a little bit more almondy or a little bit more round, this is a step that I will do that. So after I have filed and shaped the nails to my liking, I am just going to go in with a buffing block, just prepping my nails for some gel polish, making sure that all of that shine is off of the nails once again because gel does not like to stick onto any shiny surfaces. And then I'm just going to go in with some alcohol again and brush it along the nails to dehydrate them and take away any oils that might have gotten on there if my client was touching her face or if she was just touching them or whatever so this just makes sure and ensures that we will have a long lasting manicure So for today's look, we are going for a super easy spring look. So I'm going to start off with Sinful Grin from IBD and apply that on the ring finger as well as the thumb. And after applying that one coat, I do get my client to cure it and I'll work on the other hand. And then we will do a second coat, just making sure that it is streak free and opaque. For the pinky, we decided to just put a white on it. You can use any white that you have. And then for the rest of the nails, we decided to go with a black. And for my black, I am using Black Lava from IBD. And we are also going to go ahead and do two coats of that just to make sure it is nice and opaque. ahead and take a matte top coat and matte the two beige nails because I like to put designs on and draw on matte surfaces just because I feel like I have a little bit more control of what I am doing as it doesn't slip and slide on a matte top coat and after I have those matted I am just going to go on with my nail design Alright, so for the super easy nail design, we are going to be working with a black and white nail gel paint and we will also need a dotting tool 
if you do not have a dotting tool available, you can most definitely use a toothpick or a bobby pin to get the same desired look. All I'm doing is just putting that dotting tool into some white gel paint and applying them in a flower shape. So once I have my flowers placed where I want, I'm just going to go in with that black and place a little dot in the center to make it look like a flower. I'm also going to then take a tiny, tiny brush and pick up some of that black once again. And I'm going to paint on some petals. And this just is going to complete the look for me and I totally love how simple and quick this nail look was and I'm super happy with how it turned out and I feel like anyone with any skill can do this even if you're a beginner you can most definitely do this nail design and it will look so cute because it's that easy. Alright, next I'm just going to go in with a matte top coat to complete this look. I'm super happy with how they turned out. I think they're super cute and dainty for the springtime. If you would like to see more start to finish services, let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe while you're at it. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye!